Hello, hello there. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing amazing. We'll be hopping in here in just a moment. There's always that one more thing you gotta take care of right before stream. Okay, let's switch over. Hi there. Um, I, hmm, I need to adjust this a little bit. I didn't see it with uh, text before, so. Boop. Something like this. Yeah, if I stretch up, it's fine. Okay. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, sound off? I'm in HD now. I uh, messed up before. <laughs> Looking crisp, yeah. So, in the viewer program, I had it tiny. And I was like, okay, this is still on a tiny page screen. It'll look good. And then I went and watched, and it's like, no, that's that's not looking so good. Um, so I decided to like get fixed up. I think that's a bit better. Okay. So... We got this one going. I think we have one over here. Uh, press up to this. It's one over there. One over this way? Really? Um... I think I can hop down here. Uh-oh. Bomb bird. <laughs> ah! Why? How dare. Okay. Um... Sorry, where is it at? You're after me now. Stop it. Why? I left you so far alone. End of Victory Road in Pokemon Black 2 right now. Nice. Hoping to finish the game tonight. Yeah. Okay. Grab this. And leave me the fuck alone. Didn't have to end this way. May leave the stream once I make some progress in the temple to avoid spoilers. A hey, totally fair. Um, I feel like is that one of them right over here? Here, let me do that and that. Uh, there's a time thing there. Uh, let's go ahead and do... This. Oh, rip. Hmm. this. Swoop down and back up. And I think it's just right here. 
Yeah, we bash the time stone and then... That's what they're called, right? The time stone? Hey, that's nice. It's interesting, it's literally only where the roads are. <laughs> okay. Let's try the middle one here. It gets the point across. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They didn't even want to bother with this one. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no challenge area. It's just, here it is. The beetle upgrade? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this looks like a clock, so it's just, you turn it to that position. Gosh, I wonder what the solution is. Um, okay. Right, so it's the building. So... There's a ramp there. Hmm. I think I unfortunately have to go all the way up and around. So I'm gonna go there. And then here, to there, to here. Yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't need these ones. I'll take this one back and that one. Yeah, excuse me. So new thing in weight loss journey. Um, I have been doing fine with like, you know, the, the amount I eat and then not feeling like too hungry and stuff. But um, recently, like past two, three days or something like that, including today, I'm just feeling hungry quite consistently. And I, I, I don't know fully what it is. Okay. Oh, bird. Ooh, bugs. Do I even bother with the bugs? I probably should. Got two of them. Nice. Ah. Oh well. I'm not going to be too fussed about it. I got two of them. Final facilities like here? Ooh, cicada.
This <laughs> is such a slow and gentle capture. Just kind of... <laughs> Uh-oh. I tried. I failed. Oh, hey, a save point. Sure, we'll take it. Uh, up to here. Okay. Into the facility. Oh, you have to parry them with a wooden shield? Interesting. Message board? Okay. Cleaning assignments for supervisor. Well, it wasn't getting cleaned that frequently, it looks like. It's over here. It's restraint to not, like, mash it right away. Let's keep Lanayru green. Unfortunately, that didn't play out. My strategy has just been throw a bomb. Okay. Give. Three rupees is three rupees. So I, um, I'm thinking of doing some puzzle games. As we can be wary of the remaining durability of this item. Yeah. It hasn't been upgraded, so it's not a huge deal. Uh-oh. No! Rip. Oh, came to this area with a metal shield and got fucked up. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it does say in the description of the metal shield that it, um... Absorbs electricity, so... <laughs> Get flattened? Yeah. Bombs. And boom. Nice boom. Oh, this moves pretty quick. Okay. Okay, head up here. Uh, is this the vacuum? Or whatever it's called? No, just a Meldenor. Cool. It's a lot of different uses. What the fuck do you do? It looks like I can only push it off this way. Oh, this is my quick shortcut back this way. Okay. Hmm. I need to find the time stone. Huh. 
Is it perhaps there? Okay. Did I finish that thought? I don't think I finished that thought. I'm thinking of playing puzzle games uh, for like YouTube exclusive video series. got my shortcut back. Ow. Okay, that one's taken care of. Calibration was off. It was wonky. Ah uh, yes, five rupees. My favorite. Can these be pushed? No. Okay, so... get this up there, right? Good enough. Uh, hi there, friend. Hello, I see you through the wall there. <laughs> for your cycle. Okay. Stay there. Pick up and... Here, I need to move you to there so I can move this back one. No! Horrible. Pull you back one more. Shit. I feel like it activates a little bit faster when it's like in your hands. seconds to line stuff up. No, fuck you, Fee. Fi, Fee, Fi. Fo fum. There we go. Oh, you're low on hearts. You better go find some hearts. Please. Oh my goodness. These are- these little shits here... Okay, it didn't fall down. I thought it had fallen down. Okay. It's up there now. Thank you. 
I'm not taking my chances. Please. Ugh. Did it a little differently? I don't know how else you'd get across this chasm here. Oh my goodness. You're so right. Oh. <laughs> the whole thing that we got in this area. Oh my goodness. You're so right. Well, it's in a weird spot right now. Ow. Oh, well, I got double shocks from it, so cool. I'll have to find another fairy at some point. Oh, you're so right. Uh-oh. Nope, put down. Why, why is the... Hmm. I was mid roll. Mm. <laughs> oh. You like my solution? Uh, I appreciate it. There we go. I think it's because it like open closed multiple times and it just forgot not there. Is it dead? Where'd the little friend go? <laughs> oh well. Uh, we will be clearing out the rest of the stuff in here. The other chests. Lucky find. Yes, incredibly lucky. So helpful. <laughs> we got a monster horn. Sturdy animal bone. No, it's made of monster bone. It's my first time having that, though. Into raw electricity. You're right. Okay. Fire. PK fire. Okay. Master Link, all three remote power nodes have been activated. Please make your way to the power generator in front of Lanayru Mining Facility. Yep, yep. Will do. Please, put away. And then switch to this. Yeah, some hearts. Uh-oh. So that's the best way to take care of them. Stun them and then hit three times, fatal blow. Okay, any other little gifts for us? It says the same thing, but just less. Hmm. 
Okay. It's all dusty and crusty outside still. When I'm looking up at my screen here, it's kind of hard to tell while I'm adjusting stuff, but it, it might look like I'm leaning back a bit uh, with, with the character model. I can adjust like the angle of the camera, but it's it's just hard to make these decisions of like what's appropriate. Okay. And then How do I feel? Um, okay, so that's probably the easiest way. The door open forever? Perhaps. Oh, that's the starting area over there. Yeah, okay. There's a chest up there. Hmm. I don't know how to get to that chest. There we go. Oh. Bug hunting is a test in patience. Nothing else, just patience. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then we do one, two, three, and that should be good enough. Um, um. I haven't really done anything since the last save, so I'll just override it. Uh, this one. Uh, fan. Oh, there's a chair. We should go sit, recover hearts. Sit time. Sit. Huzzah. Best mechanic. Did you figure out how to access the remote power nodes? Is there... And just setting the dials would not be enough to open the entrance to the facility, Verm. Okay. So, looking at this, electricity's up, water is left, and then one, two, three, four, five. So one, two. It's weird, like turning, it's like kind of losing tracking, just like moving like this. So one, two, Three, four. I did not move my hand. Five. So it's at four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is it fire first then? Logic suggests, yeah. <laughs> Okay. One, two, three, four. Nope. There we go. I just thought it was inner to outer, not back to front. I knew the puzzle, just had it in the wrong order. Ooh, big old facility lifted out of the center there. Nice. Aw, oh, my pillar of light went and interrupted the cutscene. Okay. Come on, Gatorade. There we go. Onwards! Not quite where I meant to go, but onwards! <laughs> am I full up on bombs? I am not. Let's go ahead and harvest some bombs. And there's an amber there. Two. There we go. I gotta do a quick check around the outer edge. I have to. It's gamer instinct that you have to check the outer edge. That block looked weird. It looked like it was shifting in. Okay. I don't see anything, so in we go. You got this, Link. I like the Lobot, uh, Lobot? Robot head sconces. Very good design. <laughs> tectites! Look at those tectites. Like mummified tectites. Look at them. There were vines on the outside? Okay, well, now we need to go check that. They're so cute, yeah. They're the cutest little menaces that we've ever done seen. So I was looking down below. I was not looking at this inner portion here. Ah, vines here. Also vines there. That's also a valid option. I was just like, oh, there's a broken part here. We can walk up there. Let me get uh, these out of here. This is a very pretty landscape, honestly. And the way that, like, the scene darkens when the sun's in the scene, like, they have some good lighting stuff here. Just a nice view, yeah. Maybe later on there's something that, like, can enable like a giant time stone or something and then maybe there's something up here. Why is there a green thing there? Guess that's just the front of the facility so it's like a 
decoration piece? Oh, it's the left and right of the facility. Bomb the crack. There is a crack there. Nope. Just purely decoration. Okay. Ah, well. <laughs> Back on in we go. I didn't lower the resolution settings as I uh, or uh, bitrate settings as I said I was gonna do. I'm sorry, little dudes. Hi, you. Oh. Hmm. With Gen 5 Pokemon, do you want to know the team of this game? Uh, yeah, go for it. I, I'm like, semi-familiar with them. I might not recognize them by name, but like, I recognize the looks of these Gen 5 Pokemon. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -uh. <sighs> hi, hi y'all. Okay. I did not see what that actually unlocked. directly on. Nice. Siglyph, okay. Ampharos, uh, Haxoros, uh, Scoliopede, Jellicent, and Mineshout. So, one, two, three, four of them. I recognize four of them. Uh, it's Sigilith, Ampharos, uh, Scoliopede, and Mineshow. So I recognize four of them. I'd say that's pretty good for never playing Gen 5. Having never played Gen 5. Let me look at these other two. Uh, Haxorus? Oh, I do recognize Haxorus. Uh, and Jellicent. I also recognize Jellicent. Okay, so I, I do know all of your Pokemon. Two of them I didn't recognize the name. Uh, Sigilyph is really cool. I actually really, really like the design of Sigilyph. That's the, um... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how exactly to describe it, but like, I don't know. Something about the design of it is really, really cool. 
Similar vibes to Natu, actually. Natu and Zatu. Always loved its design, yeah. Also, I'm personally not a competitive Pokemon player. Appreciate the people who are, but for me, it's all about the looks. <laughs> For the Pokemon. Is that too as well? Yeah. Okay, these fuckers. Okay. So we're gonna go to the left. Ow. Shit. Shit. Ooh, I did it. Okay. Um, try to pick a well-balanced team, and for these replays, you're focused a bit more on team composition using Pokemon you haven't used very often or at all. Fair enough, yeah. Okay, so we have to do something to open this door. This is a pretty interesting enemy to fight, uh, so long as you have the, like, you know, the controls synced up well enough. Ooh, Jelly Blob. Feels like there's a mechanic here that I'm missing. Maybe this is just, hey, push this over here and then run up the wall. Yeah, that's all that is. I haven't really done a replay of any Pokemon game. I probably will be on this channel at some point, but yeah. Pick six for each playthrough. Yeah, I, uh, I I feel like I always have my starter Pokemon on my team. It's just you have it from the start and it becomes like such a powerhouse, basically. Shit. the wrong button. Hello there. Welcome on into the stream. And thank you for stopping by. Oh. Give. Thank you. Uh, Gen 6 and 7 have really cool starters, so you'll probably go back to keeping the one you choose on your team. Yeah. Um, Gen... Five starters. Gosh, I can't remember them off the top of my head. Got a small key. That's good. Gosh, I'm I'm having a really hard time remembering them. Is it the is it Tepig and Oshawott 
and I don't even remember the grass starter, which is like really weird for me to say because I always go with, with the grass starter. But Gen 5, it's like, nah, I don't really feel like it. Snivy. Okay, never mind. Snivy is pretty good. Snivy, st I, I like Snivy. Um, the next gen? Uh, I've played Ocarina of Time 3DS. I really enjoyed that. Um, I have not played Twilight Princess yet, so I cannot compare to that, but I'm having a really good time with the game. Um, there's a little bit of jank with the controls, but that's what you get with motion controls. Um, and then there's uh, Phi, or Fee. It's technically pronounced Phi, but um, Phi is a little bit overbearing, and there's a lot of, like, character A tells you something, character B tells you the exact same thing, but phrased differently. If you ignore that, though, the game's really, really great. Um, and there hasn't been so much that it's like, oh my goodness, it's a slog. Uh, j just feel like it's worth mentioning, you know? I am really enjoying this playthrough. Okay, and then this one has this. I hope when we go back through... Here, I I I'm kind of curious. Do the chains stay? No, the chains are gone forever. It's just during that one animation. Probably the best, whether you prefer t uh, Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword, is very much up to preference. Fair, yeah. What the fuck are you? What? What? Ex excuse me, what, what the fuck are you? You're a floating tadpole. Awful. <laughs> yes, it is a very linear game. Uh oh. Oh, it go boom. Okay. Go boom? Yes, okay. So that's how you take care of that. I was like, it's not puffed out anymore. I'm safe now, right? <laughs> that's what I thought was about to happen. Oh, hey. Take that heart back. Ah. But, 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 I can do this. Ooh, there's a time stone in the middle. Nice. Just finished Wind Waker the other day. Um, Breath of the Wild is a pretty non-linear title. <laughs> okay, that opens. That closes. Okay, so I need to stand here and then use my bug. I wish there was a button to be like, okay, Bug, you can fly a little bit faster now. I have not played Wind Waker yet. Original or HD. 
Um, I definitely want to. Okay. Let's figure out how to fight this enemy. Pretty easy. No! A, a, a poke! I'm trying to poke! You also thought this game needs a bug go fast button? There's probably a mod for it. <laughs> Not that Nintendo wants you to. Yeah, you can fight them. Okay. So, two things as to why I knew that you could defeat them. One is you look at them, they have a horizontal line, and then they have a circle. So a horizontal line is you need a horizontal slash, and then the circle is you need to do a stab. Um, the second reason I know is because uh, when I was watching Let's Plays of uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, I, I saw... <laughs> I saw them defeat these enemies. So, uh... <laughs> Interesting. So I can't get in there... They go very fast. <laughs> You're good. Ooh. A little bit wavy here. <laughs> Drop down from above and hit that switch, I think? Here we go. Nice. Okay, that door is open. I could immediately go back for that, but also... What's this switch? Ah, that opens that door. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we want them to run fast across this conveyor belt. But also, they don't have the stamina for it. I know, let's drop stamina fruit. No, 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 no. Stamina's not the issue. I really hope there's a way to improve my stamina in the future. And here is where I need to go next. Okay. And we go pop. And we go pick this up, and then we make another one go pop. What? Excuse me. Rude. Okay, fine. Maybe I don't do that. Ooh. 
Ooh. Stabbies. Nice. After I clear this room, you're gonna head out? Fair enough. There's a chest down there. Uh, I kinda wanna go up here first and then we'll go down to that chest. Oh geez, I wonder where the scorpions are gonna come from. Okay, and then vacuum is in here, I bet. The gust bellows. In other words, a vacuum. <laughs> uh, it's an ancient and mys mystical device capable of blowing an endless gust of wind. Gust bellows. Okay. A reverse vacuum, yeah. By the way, the dust has to go somewhere, so just blowing at it, it's like, yeah, it makes it so that the dust isn't there, but it will be somewhere else. Oh, jeez! No! <laughs> I saw that death happen in front of my eyes. Uh, if it was in, a, in any other Zelda game, the Gust Bellows would require magic. Uh, interestingly enough, there's a couple of Zelda games that don't require, like, magic points or whatever. But yes, def definitely would. Okay. You. Hello? You. You. I'm in control of my movement. <laughs> hey, Golden Skull. Nice. Hello? Oh. It's a face hugger, apparently. I don't believe it does. I could be wrong. You're floating towards me. I don't appreciate that. That's one way to handle that, okay. No, ah. Um, Breath of the Wild does not. Oh, please, Le leave me, leave me alone. Thank you. Uh, Breath of the Wild does not. Um, uh, what else? Ocarina of Time does, I think. Yeah, it does. Majora's Mask probably does. Did Spirit Tracks have magic? Spirit Tracks magic. It did? Okay. 
I forgot if it did or not. What was that sound? So underrated, it was my first Zelda game. <clears throat> and I fell in love with the series. Now, have I played much Zelda since then? No, but I'm looking to remedy that, so yeah. Hence why I'm playing now. <laughs> Ooh, a little amber. We'll take it. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll hop down. Ah, it goes into the upper left. Boom. Am I supposed to have something else that goes into the center already then? Just checking around for dust piles, basically. Playing cleanup. Oh, that that sound was the uh, skull thing going away. Okay. Okay, I've been liking most of the music in this game. This song's getting a little bit repetitive with the. It's just constantly... It, it feels like it's constant. I know most of the music has been like shorter loops and stuff, but... I don't know, this one feels... Extra repetitive. Get out of here. Okay. And then... I think that's everything cleaned up in this room. Oh, nope. <laughs> Almost missed this one. Okay. Now I think that's everything. Yeah, when we get the map, we'd know for sure, but... Big ol' cleaning session. We have that lady back in the home village that we need to clean up her house. So yeah. Hey, here's the shortcut back. Cool. Um, jump down. It's cool how it loops back like that. Hey, Deku nuts. Oh. Please. Well, there's the two hearts I need to recover. Okay. Half heart down, whatever. Time for dinner? Yeah, okay. Take care. Thank you for stopping by, even for a little bit of time. Take care. And have a nice evening. Up to this save pile. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay. Nothing else to do here, so I think we're heading back out to here. Do 
Do these en enemies respawn now? No? Okay. Um... Uh, perhaps we do just a little bomb thing like that. Take you and take you. Thank you. Clean. Clean. You're gonna go so you can experience the rest of the dungeon for yourself. Fair enough. Take care, sound off, and uh, yeah. See you around in the Discord server and stuff. Take care, friend. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. So we push this along here. I guess one more push. There we go. And that opens that door. Nice. Uh, if we look at this map, though, there's probably some stuff we can blow off in this room. But probably not that much. So let's go this way. Okay. Um. I guess I run across to this because there's no other option. I think my goal is to get over there. I finished. I did not. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted that stuff. Mostly the jelly, but... How is my jelly doing? Ten! Nice. I feel like I need the better shield. Like, my current shield just is not good enough. That one's pretty far away. But alas, I think I have to. There we go. Oh, geez. And you? Let's clean all the small things first. Random memory that just popped up. Tap Tap Revenge? The uh, Guitar Hero clone that was just like on an iPhone? Really good. I remember playing that a lot as a kid. Ooh. Ah, okay. Um, okay. Ooh. 
Hello. And that's open forever. Ow. I missed. Please. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need to get out of here. Okay, I lost way too many hearts to that. Just due to my uh, poor skills. Okay, um. Uh oh. What are you? Um, you do... Ow. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with this. How do I deal with you? <laughs> no! No! Okay. Please. Give. Thank you. <laughs> Monster horn. Bloom. Then we go back over here. And then. Okay, and then across over to here. Thank you. Still gonna go bloop at me. Also, I don't know how to beat that enemy. Nice. What? Interesting that there's doors that it's like, just sit here for a little bit. You can't do anything else. You just sit here for a little bit. Okay. Sure. More of these dudes. Ow. Hello? Please. The game? Ow. 
game. There we go. No! Game? Ooh! Gosh. I need some hearts. Another blob. Excellent. Hearts? Thank you. I really need some fairies. Tectite's up there, okay. And then over here. Got a little bit just to clean here. Another heart. Excellent. Okay. So there's something in there we definitely want. Got all three of them at once. This is Button. This is Amber. Oh. Hello, pile. Huge deal, but new enemy. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> I definitely want that chest, so I will be going up there. I love how vibrant and orange that box is. You got the dungeon map. Nice. Reveals unexplored rooms. Ooh, a chest over there that I missed. Okay. Um. Zelda's over there. Yeah, so back into this area. probably leave those for now in case they have hearts and I need hearts. Okay. 
just forever, okay? Cool. Save into this slot. Save. Let's put it this way. I am having a really good time with this game because that did not feel like 20 minutes. Is a huge ass rupee. Okay. What's in the chest for us? You got a goddess plume. Rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten era. It's a legendary treasure few will ever behold. Ooh. The bottom row seems like the really important secret stuff. Another amber, very cool. And a heart. Okay. And I think that's all. Energy goes down so quickly in that area. Okay. Let's see. Forward to here. Nope. Okay. Nice. Ah, shit. Please. Okay, and then this. And then we switch to this to open up another path. Nice. Mm. Let's get to the end over here first because we're Probably not coming back. So tired, he can't do anything. Another little amber, nice. Okay. Come across over to here, and then across over to there. Uh, okay, so we go right first. Nothing. Uh, and then we go right first. Please, game. Hmm. Okay, another piece. And then left first, nothing. So we go right. Uh, 
Okay. And then this looks like the final room. Okay. Clean everything. Even if we found everything, we need to clean everything. We haven't found everything, but... There's so much stuff I should be, that, that I need and want to work on. It sometimes gets overwhelming when it's like, I... It's like decision paralysis. What do I do first? Oh, um, da, da, uh, uh, uh. There we go. Ooh, fairy nut bottle. Nice reassurance to have. That's too far under the... Okay. Sure. Whatever. Okay, there's a chest there. I need this chest. Something inconsequential? Probably. I still need it. Yes, I went all the way around for five rupees. <laughs> okay. Shoot. I didn't even mean to walk into that one. Uh, here. Okay, we get the thing in the chest. 20 rupees! Don't spend it all in one place. It's an odd thing to say for the 20 rupee don't spend it all in one place because you most 
you most certainly will spend it all in one place. Please. Get that art for me. Thank you. I needed that heart. <laughs> Very badly. Okay. Nope. Wrong, wrong thing. The sound of it being put away is a bit weird. How the fuck do I fight you? Uh, fee help. Centrobe. Was built in ancient times and is armed with missiles fired from a central turret and flying bombs fired from both of its sides. Such as your shield, of course. I'm taking it. It's fine. Ow. Come on. Perish. Metal Gear Link. Excuse me. Okay. Just Link sort of casually walking with this. Everything is fine. Sorry, whooshed forward. Ah, oh, amazing. Um. Okay. Here's another time cart. I'm not gonna do anything with it right now. I still can't do anything with that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hey, you. Okay, two hearts. <sighs> okay. I should... I should fly back and get a shield. Hey, nope. Uh, they did not exist in the past, apparently. And save. Ba -bum -bum. And let's also go outside. And then we will also...
No. Uh-oh. Please. Okay. Hey, Amber. Again. Okay. We're gonna go sit in the chair and then go up to the skies. To the sky. Yes. Up, up. Let's see. We are wanting to go here. I'm going to take this. Nice. Okay. Gotta check something real quick. Getting dieting and health tips from my brother. He, he's a power lifter, so um, good person to be getting help from. Do all that. Mm. Thank you, Dustin, for your help as always. Um, okay, I need to purchase wooden shield. Uh, yes, I will purchase it. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Okay. Hello. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. Uh, upgrade gear. Okay. Let's upgrade to the um, better shield, which I have the monster claw for. So we will do that. Upgrade. You want to upgrade this? There's no going back, you hear? Go for it. Okay. You just wait right there. <laughs> All done, here you go. Uh, upgraded to a banded shield. This shield is much more durable than a standard wooden shield. If you got anything else you want me to stink around with, you just let me know. Yeah. Uh, what happens best? More monster claws. I need some tumbleweeds for that. And I need to figure out how to get monster claws. 
Um, let's see. Skyward Sword, how to get monster claws. Okay, they're dropped from keys. <laughs> Skyview Temple, go down spiral staircase, two sets of keys, clear the keys to obtain monster claws, exit, re-enter the temple to let them respawn. Great, okay. That's probably the best way to do it, but that's also gonna suck. Speed, ooh. That's good. Evil Crystal I don't have. Dusk Relic I don't have. This is probably the one I'm most interested in, but alas. Come again soon, you hear? Yeah. Uh, over here. Oh. Oh, I, uh, welcome. What's wrong? Um, nothing. There's nothing wrong. It's not like, oh, hey, that guy's back. I'm so happy or anything like that. But if you think about how often we meet, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee and customer, you know? Oh, no, I didn't mean to. What am I saying? Please forget everything I said, okay? Okay, get it together. Be, be professional. Do you have anything you want me to hold on to? Yes, please. Wonderful, so what do you have? Um... I... want this... to be moved in place of... this? Probably this. Yeah, probably. And then let's do that so that they're opposite of each other. And then I'm thinking the two bottles here just for a quick look. Thank you, come again. Yep. Uh, I should sell one of those. Yes, please. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that. Hmm, for that I'll give you 50 rupees. What do you say? Okay. Uh, thanks. Anything else? Nope. Let's go. Thank you, come again. Okay. I don't think anything else here... Um... Hmm. I didn't sit on the bench. Sit. There we go. Excuse me? <laughs> I feel like that's just a little bit too high off the ground, you know? Bug metal, as long as you're carrying that, you'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. A thousand rupees. Please take a look at other things I have for sale. Eight 
800 rupees. I... I am going to look up what the life metal does. What does the life metal do in Skyward Sword? Adds a single heart container to your life bar at the expense of an adventure pouch space. Okay, no thanks. Uh, oh! One additional item. 600 rupees. Um, I probably don't need the bomb bag. I just grabbed this. Oh. oh. Yes. Uh, with a dot on the map. really suits you. It does, because I love uh, catching all them bugs. Okay, bye, beetle. Okay, back into item check. We don't need as many bombs. Mm -hmm. Hello. Something you want to pick up? Yes, please. Um, let's deposit this in exchange for that. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um, we should probably head to the pumpkin place. I forget its name, but we should head back there soonish. Um, uh, best wooden shield. Skyward sword. Um, what's the upgrade cost? Okay. And a number of specific... I want to know what the treasures are. Just let... <sighs> okay. Two monster claw and two tumbleweeds. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Insect detected. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think we go to... Do we bother with hunting monster claws? I think not. We just be careful with our shield and don't let it break. Uh, I wonder where she's gone. Okay, side quest? Ugh, I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Link, you really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It was getting late for her uh, to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. Just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. No. Hey Link, would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. Sure. Counting on you, Link. Okay. Uh, go this way.
Okay. Recenter. Uh. Colorful Island, so probably there. There's one up there. If I let go like that, it's not purposeful enough. It wasn't letting me call for quite a while. Okay. Got the item. Got the heart metal. Hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. If you're worried about running out of hearts while you're out adventuring, keep this with you. Usually I'm fine. So probably don't need it, but that is a useful item. Okay, pick that up. Hello? Dodo. Ugh, my super wacky party wheel is fun fell off the island. Uh, my super wacky party wheel of fun fell off the island, way down below the clouds. Without that, there's just no way the dream of fun is dead. I can't bring myself to do anything without it. The laughter has turned to tears. Unfortunate. So it would be below me somewhere. Okay, I need to purposefully run off. over here. It's just another island, but like, something looks different about it. Oh, enemy. That's what. Uh, Twister. So this one we don't need to check. Is 
I don't think I need to check anything else, really. Oh, here. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> hey there. Wow. Oriel. Well, if it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now we can't fly. Somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. Can't go home until my bird's feeling better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. Yep, tracking. Um, can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Link, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him, and he'll uh, give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft, waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. He is. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and quickly do that. Come on. I've ordered all of the parts for Slime VR. I just need to wait for it to come in. Yep. No. Okay. Hey, bird medicine, bird medicine. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take uh, take her this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. Hey, mushroom spores. They will heal, heal the bird's injury. But wait. You're carrying too much. Make some space in your pouch, and then come talk to me. Okay. There we go. I get really quiet when I'm doing that because I'm focusing. <laughs> uh, we can remove the bug metal for now, I guess. Uh, yes, please. Um, we will get rid of this. Thank you. And away we go. Bum, bum. Okay, I put away the thing. Made room in your pouch. Well then, take these. Mushroom spores, heal the bird's injury. Ooh, third bottle. Third bottle. Hell yeah. If she uses this, it will quickly heal the bird. Uh, she should then be able to make her way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. I'm counting on you, Link. Hell yeah. Bottle three get, which means... I wish I could rearrange how this pouch is laid out. Yeah, we'll go with it for now. Come on. I 
actually really like the flying mechanic. Like, it, it's a bit barren, but I like the flying mechanic. Okay. Have the spores. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief. You brought the medicine. Here, take it. Thank you. Now I can heal my bird's injury. Now my poor bird uh, should be healthy again in no time. Literally no time. <gasps> Little braids! Oh my goodness, look at that. I didn't notice that on the bird. I was beginning to think we were doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. Ah. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Uh, helping people feels good. Yeah. Um, is there like a notebook or anything that keeps track of how many gratitude crystals I need without like heading all the way back? Nope. Um, I don't know what that is. This is the liar you get eventually. Uh, I'll take this back. And we're going straight down into the desert. Um, the Desert Gorge, North Desert? Yeah, that's probably it. Why is there some... Oh, that that's just the drop point over there. Okay. I was like, why is something flashing over there? Ba-dum, ba-dum. Okay. I need to get some tumbleweeds. But I also need to get some, uh... What are they called? Monster claws? Uh, there's a chest in this room. Oh! Oh, I pulled the lever that opened this. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Thank you, and thank you for this, too. Push, push. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're only two hours into stream. But that is also half our time. Okay. Uh, oh, hi there, you. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, there's keys over here. And also, I want this shield to be available. Excuse me. They are both just hearts. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, we've done a lot. We should save. Save. Up to here. Yeah, it's been about 20 minutes. The every 20-ish minute save. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it pushed one of the enemies off. Oh, okay, that just makes it so that it comes over here. Okay. I get it. Okay, so I think I need to... There's more keys up there. I'm ready to fight. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to open this, so I won't worry about it for now. back the other way. <sighs> Wait. 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 Go faster. Quest room? Let's let this recover. Okay. Oh, hi. Please. only get amber. Like, I see nothing else but amber. And then this is going to be a time stone.
Ah, two of those. Ugh. Pretty easy enemy to beat. Okay. Cool. Um, where? What am I trying to do here? How do those pillars move, by the way? Uh. I guess for now, I'll just take this. There we go. Excuse me? Why, why'd you... Two, three, one. Mm, one, two, and three. Okay. For on the opposite side. Duder to turn around. Okay, cool. Ow. Please. Oh, now no heart. Okay. Uh, ladder. Ah! Nothing for me there, apparently. Hand, hello? Gunteran Gaming, hello, welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream, yeah. Okay. So I need to get up there to blow those up in the correct order, but how do I actually get across? Uh oh, okay, it's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> I need to get there to blow them up. One, two, three. Um, you know what?
Any bombs up here? That's unfortunate. And... Uh, where do I get bombs from? Like, I have my bomb, but... Is that really the best way? I'm gonna go here and let's try heading back across. I don't think there's any way to pull that one over to me here. Yeah, I'm gonna head back out here. Uh, well, guess I can't do that, so never mind. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you know what? I could get the bug to fly in there and hit the gem, so we'll do that. Nope. Bug? Okay, good. We did hit it. I was like, oh my goodness, did it not hit? <laughs> So something I'm still debating for character design is do I go with back a black sclera? The normally the whites of the eye, that part of the eye is called the sclera. And there's some really good character design. Like I really like a lot of character designs that have black sclera. I just need to make, like, the lore of my character, like, make sense with that, you know? Please. Give me this. Okay, nothing else there. And no way in hell to get across there. Okay. Definitely not supposed to do that. Okay. Let's hit in. I must be missing something. Come on. Okay, thank you. Thank you! <laughs> oh, Beetle. I can run in and jump from here. Oh no, I have to go all the way around again? Oh, probably not actually.
Yeah, we cleared that off. So I can just do that. Hand, please. <laughs> Um... No! Okay. Oh! Rip! Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I climb up the slider. Haha! <laughs> I knew that. Okay. I need to fly over here to get a good look. Nothing up there, that's just decoration. Do this. Oh, that was close. Excuse me, game. Thank you. More bombs. Okay. Great. <laughs> Does the order I blow them up in not matter and there's something behind it that I need to hit? That's the only other potential solution I can think of. Which even that's still too far. Hmm. Uh, I'm honestly really lost. Advice. Hint.
Is it something like I need to turn this back off? Nothing additional opens up, as far as I can see. Maybe up here? There's something? Nope. Huh. I... Hmm. Guess I'll take the rupee here. I... Hmm. What do I do? Uh, like, I get, it's, it's one, two, three, right? I get that. Shoot. I get that's one, two, three. <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to be pushing on do doors when, uh, maybe I've been pushing on doors when I'm supposed to be pulling, do that a lot. Hello, it's been a little bit, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I am going to send this flying over here again. Mm. Okay. Back to the past. Doing your best. And also hope I'm doing my best. Yeah, thank you. I am doing my best. Um, also, my hands struggle sometimes, apparently. I'm gonna stand for a little bit. Eh. Standing mat, going down. Okay. And a little bit of... There we go. Big stretch. Okay. Yeah. Um. Recent talks have been about how I've been uh, needing to do some dieting, uh, per like doctor's advice, and uh, I, I feel that process has been going really well. Uh, my next like talking head piece is going to be an unprofessional view of like what I've been doing with dieting and stuff like that just to kind of talk through that dieting and exercising and all that stuff so yeah can I oh my goodness the answer was right in front of me all along Health friend, so health. Uh, I was not really health friend, but ye. <laughs> I'm so glad to have figured this out. Just walking back and forth and it's like, I cannot reach that. I can't do anything. Ugh. There we go. More bombs. Nice. Okay. Um. 
So it is one, three, two. So. Switch to this. Oh. One. Ah, okay. I just need to hit all of them. I just need to open all of them and then hit them in the correct order. There we go. Health out of ten. <laughs> yes, I get it. There's another crystal there. Uh, no. I'm not close enough for that. So... No! Ah. Uh, I guess I didn't touch solid ground. Okay. All the way over. We're here. Okay, so we do bug friend. One. Two. And where I'm getting this numbering from is from over there, where it's one, two, three. Okay. Huzzah. Door opened. Now, why is this here? I don't know. But it sure as hell is. Blue. Uh, these ones. Okay, those are their attack spheres. Nope, oh. There we go. Whew. When you build a giant maze to keep out intruders, but you leave the solution to the puzzle on one of the walls to be a good host. Well, th this used to be a mining facility, so maybe they left it for the workers? I don't know. <laughs> we'll take it. Here, we'll just let you do that. There we go. Nice and easy. And uh, the way to get out, I think. You got the Ancient Circuit. Uh, it is made of shining gold. It also looks like it may be apart from something. The surface is inlaid with circuitry. Cool. This is just what people can accomplish in a world without internet. <laughs> Ye yeah. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, you go here, and then you. Okay, and then here. Let me out. Okay, let's go ahead and save real quick. Spin a little bit about our. Uh... Wow, that was forty minutes. Let me check if that's right. Yeah, 40 minutes. 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. I guess it did take a little bit longer to figure out what I was trying to do there. <laughs> that and that. Okay, these two things do something. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. I was worried that was going to be a lot more difficult than it ended up being. <laughs> nice. Oh, a uh, big. Fine. Overcomplicating things like a silly billy. <laughs> uh, I'm over. I'm gonna overwrite the same save file. There wasn't anything spectacular or anything that we did there. Um. Yes, okay. Okay, yep, this all makes sense. Uh, oh, we just go up to the door. Okay, um... Uh, like, come on. No, okay, like this then. There we go. Little rotation puzzle. Uh, despite having, like, some degree of aphantasia, for some reason, 3D visualization, like, spatial visualization, I'm pretty decent at. Like, I te uh, literally, for college course thing, like, in my intake course, I, I had to do a test for spatial visualization, and I just scored really well for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh! Link! Link, look out! Oh, it just went under you. Okay. Hello! You're big.
Okay. Shoot. Okay, only one miss. Oh. Ah! No! Ah! Um... Ah. No, I'm trying to poke, I swear. Excuse me, tracking. What was that? Ah! No. You know what? I'm gonna take this as time to heal. There we go. No, please, I'm poking in. No. There we go. Okay. <sighs> We've been fine without collecting those hearts, but I wanted it as like a reassurance thing. Still trying to find something you're good at? <laughs> you're good at plenty of stuff, I'm sure. Snip Snap Sand Doggo? <laughs> I guess it's a sand doggo. That's one way to put it. Oh. Third boss that I've uh, first tried. I'm not sure if that's a testament to the ease of the bosses or the um, skill level. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll take the heart. You got a heart container. Your life has increased by one and is also now fully replenished. Uh, hey, little train car things, cool. Okay, let's go through. Yeah, let's go through. Billion. Okay. 
I would see what's happening there. Here, can I get in? Oh, and then I immediately get out. Okay, never mind. It's a long way over there. And... Oop. Oh, wow. When the, the lights opened up up top, oh, really pretty room. <laughs> this is Link. Link's making the sound. You can't do anything while you're in here. It's just rotate around. Why are my hands continuing to get... Blah. I cannot wait for the slime VR stuff to arrive. And, like, integrate it into my streaming workflow. Ooh, the Gears of Time. Gearheem. Oh no. The goth boy. He's here. Impa. Your grace, quickly to the gate. Link. Link here. You'll need this where you're going. Back to the future. <laughs> you got the goddess's harp. Uh, I can't read the rest of that. Go now. You can jump over that, Link. Link. Protect Zelda. I will. You have my thanks, Link. Hey. Link. You must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will. I'll see you again. This isn't goodbye, Link. I promise. Oh, jeez. Destroyed the Gears of Time there. Now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was soft. I take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time, I'll do more than just uh, something. Uh, I'll make the fair, uh, fair so excruciating you'll deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your scream. That text went way too fast. Please, Zelda. Please, developers. I know it's like a cutscene, but like also... Uh. A report, Master. I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the Sealed Temple. Sure, sure. But first, we got a little vacuuming job to do. There we go. Meow. Yeah. 
Oh. There we go. Was that another water ant? I think that was uh, another... Yeah, it was a Lanayru ant. Amber. Nice. Ooh. There we go. I, I, I think I've perfected my method of that. But it can still be frustrating sometimes. Uh, 10 rupees, who cares? Uh... Okay. Hey, you! What? You made it inside? You mean say there's a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the way had been cleared. I'm going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. Okay. Uh, a little bit of dust clean up here too. Cool. Okay. I didn't get any tumbleweeds, but I also don't think I'm going to need the tumbleweeds for a little while. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and save our progress. Save. And then also to the sky. Yes. Oh, nope. I did not mean to. I would like to get my bug medallion back. Ah. Oh well. So in addition to the bug medallion, we should also go over here real quick. Uh, we should clean up the lady's house and gravestone. Nope, nothing with that. Where is the graveyard? Ah. Over here. Okay, down to here. We go to the monster's house. Okay, and more gratitude crystals. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. Ooh, piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart capacity uh, by one. Three to go. Nice. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become human. Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Sure, sure. <laughs> Quite a few more. 
definitely want to uh, help them become human. Uh, how much time we have left? About an hour. Okay. Uh, one of these houses needs to be cleaned up. I do not know which one. Scrap shop owner. No. It's very obvious which one. Do, 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 do. You can see the texture line here where this like slight pavement is at. It's like right here. <laughs> here, let's do it this way. And then there's another line over there. Like if you're far enough away, yeah, you can't see it, but like when you're right up on it and it's like, here's an entryway. Wow, gosh, I can like, I can see it like very clearly in front of me, you know? Here we go. Ah, uh, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. My house is terribly dirty. Yeah, I know. Pippet is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to ask if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you, Link. I'm on it. You will? Great. I know. Uh, I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house, Link. What's that? A broom? You know, I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing. Or if we ever even own one. Most of the time I just wait for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. So look, I don't really care how you get the job done. Uh, I just want you to blow it all away for me. So I'll just leave it to you then. Yep. Okay then. How perfectly clean does this need to be, do you think? I'm breaking some of your dishes. I hope you don't mind. Okay, and then this here, that doesn't get put out. Interesting. Pippet's corner is clean. Okay. That. That. And that. Oh my, there's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You've brightened my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Okay. Thank you so much, Link. My home is sparkling clean again. I feel so much better when the place isn't under a blanket of dust. Gratitude crystal. Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Uh, helping people feels good. 15. I can't let you go without your reward. Watch out. Uh, there's some big money coming. Bam, 20 rupees. Big money. Huge. If the place gets dusty again, I might need you to come back and tidy it up for me. But I'll pay you again, okay? Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Pipit about this. Uh, he'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing myself. You can keep a secret, right? Sure. <laughs> uh, what else could I potentially be doing? I should probably go back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Oh, big stretch.
Ba -ba -ba. Uh, I need the ability to dive, which I don't have yet. Okay. Um, I don't have enough money for the beetle stuff. Yeah, I guess we just go back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Maybe check if there's any quests in here real quick, but... Hi, Pippet. Upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda would be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Yeah, definitely wait for her. Hello. Did I ever meet you? Hi. Karain. Uh, he's nice. Yes, yes he is. He's kind and caring and handsome and wonderful. Oh dear, I don't know what's come over me all of a sudden. Sorry for, for bothering you with such an awkward request. Uh, awkward question. Sit. Stand. Okay. Um, I don't feel like going into everybody's rooms. Okay. We'll exit and dive off. Um, that's extra treasure, right? Yeah, I think I want the treasure medal over the other one. The bug medal. I like bugs, but... I don't know. Okay. I do have two empty bottles, but alas. Um... I've just been thoroughly enjoying my time with this game. It's just a vibe, you know? Okay. What do you want for me to do for deliveries today? Hello. Oh, you're here just in time. Just in time for another job, that is. Your next job is to help me pick the pumpkins. And I don't want to hear you moaning or complaining about it. Fine. This should be an easy one for you. Uh, Kina spends her afternoons picking pumpkins in the patch out back. Carrying those to the storage shed. Uh, carry those to the storage shed. Kina can give you the details. Oh, but you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what will happen under the night sky. Well, I am here. <laughs> Hello, Kina. Hi. Oh, and your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping with the pumpkin harvest. 
What a relief. Do you have any idea how heavy these uh, those pumpkins are? Oh yeah? You think it's, uh, this is going to be a piece of pumpkin cake, do you? Why didn't they go with pumpkin pie? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this interesting. How about you carry five pumpkins at once? You better take it slow or you'll risk dropping them. Uh, just get out there and haul those pumpkins. Uh, let's do it. Show you where you need to carry the pumpkins. Down there. Storage shed up ahead? Carry the pumpkins there. The trick to carrying several pumpkins is to walk slowly. If they, uh, if they start to lean right, move right. If they start to lean left, move left. Take your time and keep your balance. But if you panic and start to rush, well, you're going to drop them. So, good luck. Easy. I just knew you would come through. You managed to carry them all. I guess that means you're done carrying pumpkins. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll go back and talk with the other guy. I forget their relation. Siblings, father, daughter, married. I, I forget, honestly. Impressive. You're done harvesting all those pumpkins? But don't celebrate yet. You've still got a way to go before you've paid off all of that fancy chandelier. Give me some time to think about what I need you to work on next. Just come back and see me. Okay. You don't have anything to say, apparently? Um, what if I talk to this guy about the monster? Ooh. What? Are you telling me you moved the gravestone? And did you see the monster? What? Weren't you scared? You can't fool me. I bet you were scared stiff. Okay, buddy. Hi. So all the talk about monsters and demons was just superstition, right? That old guy was just talking nonsense. No, no, no. I'm afraid not. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Oh, excuse me. How long since my last save? Um, yeah, it's about time to save. Okay, we're gonna go back down to Faron Woods. We're pretty close. Yeah, right over there. Down into the hole. Groose. <laughs> the look on Link's face. Link help! The Groose is loose. Ugh. Rough landing. 
think I might have broke something. Hey, Link, seriously, didn't, you, uh, didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? Small birds. Whoa! B birds? Tiny birds? But what? Uh, are they? And what is that thing? <laughs> Grace, this isn't the strangest thing. But how? W why? W what? Where am I? <laughs> You're on the surface, bud. What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tail you, and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? It's a Goron! And what's with all these trees? There are so many! Just give it to me straight. I can't take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? If there's, uh, supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? Pet, pet. And goes telling him all about it. Oh. Whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. <laughs> uh, he has four birds on him. But I think what I get what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda's down here somewhere, and she's okay? Yep. She's... she's okay. Oh wow, that's so great. <laughs> Hearing that is such a, a huge weight off my mind. You know, Link, it's sort of all right down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland. <laughs> uh, it's already called Fair on Woods. So let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. I see. Right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. <laughs> Big Groose will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, then give her a lift back to Skyloft. How are you going to get back to the sky? Then, when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official, and then the two of us will get some quality time together. Yeah, you think that, don't you? Anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now... It's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Bye, Groose. Catch you later, Link. Yeah. Um, this way. Let me in. Huh? You gotta be kidding me, Granny! You're messing with me. Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You're not the one who will save her. The Spirit Maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and is, uh, and in doing so, save us as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, 
Why would I even be here? If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Huh? Hello. Oh, now I get you. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. <laughs> what a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. Whoa! Greetings, Link. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by uh, Zelda's side is known as Impa. She's being sent forth by the Goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there's only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First press X to ready your heart. Good, you learn fast. Yeah, I did music, uh, both singing and band, so yeah. Now, for your next lesson, Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. Oh, when your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your heart. Uh, listen well, for the song I sing will be of great help to you in your journey. Music time! You learned the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been p passed down from ancient times. Big old tablet thing. Got a skyward strike it, it looks like. The harp you hold is known as the goddess's harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence. The only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the goddess. What, what's happening? This shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. 
I expected it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Bum, bum, bum. The seriousness of this music, I really like it. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Groose. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is even. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Quivering in your boots, Groose. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. Uh, sorry, I was using the Groose voice. There's nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Uh oh. I like the ruddy black. Like it's it's black, but it's like not fully black. The imprisoned. Stomp. Stomp. I knew it. The seal has given away. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. And then we gotta go around back. Come on. Uh oh. Please. Sure, I, I hit it like several different ways there. Push the uh, ceiling spike back out. Get around to the back side. I don't know what I'm doing there. Am I hitting it from below? Like, uh,
Ow. I'm almost there. Come on. I'll take that, thank you. Very fast. Okay. I think I'm hitting it from underneath. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Angie! Why does it have a butthole throat? All white. Whoa. Spikes strewn out everywhere. Must get down and skyward strike it. Mm. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Didn't get too far up. Triangle. Oh, um. There we go. Pudding. We did it. Uh, nice going. Uh, I, oh, I thought it was going to be Groos. Nice going, Link. Mm -hmm. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Link. There is much to discuss. Sure thing, Impa. Poor Groose. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. It has a bunch of tetraminos on it. <laughs> Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike might just do it. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Theron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Laneru Desert. Sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires 
will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skylock. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. So that's the headmaster. Hey, Bruce. Angie. <laughs> Happy. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all of this. Goodbye, Groose. Link. Go now. Trust in fate uh, to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it. As does Zelda's fate. Yeah. That? <laughs> and the street, uh, only then open for you. Must return to Skylock. Uh, Fee, are you about to tell me the exact same thing? Wow, thank you. <sighs> I think they did something during the sequence to make it so you went out faster. Oh, what was that sound? <laughs> oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. <laughs> bang, bang. Bruce, buddy? <laughs> I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? <laughs> Sorry you're feeling a bit sad about things right now, Bruce, but... There's this bug over here. There we go. Um. Okay, one of the points is there. So I think the fastest way is literally to just do this. And then, yeah. Do, do, do. What? Rude. Okay. Even more rude. Ah. Oh, bombs. I should get bombs. Hey, Groose, do you have bombs? Um, 
guess the only way out is this way? Hmm. I'm gonna do it anyways, just because I can. Does nothing. Fair enough. Diggy hole? No. Oh, stu excuse me, stool for sitting. Bombs, nice. Deku nuts. Okay, let's go. We'll probably head back to do things in Skyloft, and then that's where we'll leave off, I think. Hi, friend. Great Goron, have, I have found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. What can we do? Uh, well... I, I, legitimately. Uh, okay, just a tiny thing. Chica stone? A boing boing? That is it! One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of. There's just no mistaking it. Uh, okay. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty, and a gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a boing boing. It's just like the old text say, buddy. It appeared with a boing boing and spoke in some strange tongue. This is a major leap forward in my study of the talking statues. Next up are those goddess walls. I have got an inkling I will not have to look very far for those either. Uh, and I mean to find one, no matter what. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Gimme, thank you. What are these? <laughs> Nothing. Oh! You caught one Pharon grasshopper. It's said that these bugs reproduce in massive numbers once every 10 years, eating every plant in sight. Hey, nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, this one here. It's been a little bit since the last save. Right? I just want to check the save. Yeah, like a half hour. To the sky. We'll probably get to Skyloft. I don't know if we're going to carry out the thing we need to do in Skyloft. Ugh. Big stretch. Actually, this is way closer than I thought, so we're gonna go here. It pulls the sailcloth for you. Huh? 
Um. Instructor Horwell? No, wrong one. Where is Headmaster? Uh, Owlin? Is it Owlin? Nope. Those are the two that look exactly the same. Or very similar. Crane. Zelda. Why, yes. Ah, yes, my favorite person. Bath. Hmm. Headmaster. Here we go. Hello. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you getting closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm. hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Um, Sing it! Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. But if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about the whirling, uh, about two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen? But how do you go about doing that? What does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. I have an idea. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So one whirling sail is there. Can I set a thing here? It's like there and there. Yeah, I was close. Close enough. Oh, please, let me- no! Let me jump off. Okay, cool. Up there, okay. Hello. 
Thank you so much for tracking down Kukio Link. It's such a gorgeous day today, too. On a day like today, there's nothing I'd love more than to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin for a sip of soup. But of course, my wife asked me to fis fix the cupboard. Uh, so I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Story of my life. Hey! What's up, Link? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that uh, can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. So fetch quest for that. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. You highly suggest, wow. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there. Sure. Wow. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But well, we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over the years, over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Okay. So, okay, here's this little tidbit, but also here's this little tidbit, and there's this other little tidbit that stacks on top, and then you have one more little tidbit. Thanks for all your help. My bird is back to full health. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Gondo. Hey. hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. Think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. Huh? huh? about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. He probably just came here to make fun of a crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from beneath the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me. But I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot. What's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be uh, look like much. Uh, wow. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen such a thing. Take mine. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Ooh. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick oily stuff coming out of it. Great, with this we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. Ooh. There you go. Hey! Mochi! Hi there! Thank you for the raid! Mochi raid! Uh, LD301S Scrapper. Mochi Raid! Thank you for the raid! Shout out! Uh, Mochizuki! Uh, and then we'll also do this type of shout out. What were you up to? What were you doing tonight? How you doing? Final Fantasy XIV, nice! Yeah! 
the more I'm thinking about it, the more I want to be playing, uh, getting into Final Fantasy XIV. So I, I'm excited about it, you know? Uh, Mortham, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining the raid and welcome on in. Uh, was working on the MSQ, a hair away from finishing ARR. You'll have to forgive me. I don't know what these acronyms mean. <laughs> uh, you love the head mushroom? Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, th this 1.0 model that I use is basically... Um, it, it, it's, it's basically just me IRL, but mushroom. Um, I'm doing some planning for like a V2 in which I have more lore and like I, I lean into the mushroom stuff a bit more. And I'm really excited about that. I have like a mood board and working through some concepts right now. Main story quest, a realm reborn. Gotcha. Yeah, sounds cool. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Uh, if I get into 14 again, hit you up? Of course, will do, yeah. Um, I'm, like, as we talk about it more, the more I'm itching to get into it. <laughs> you gotta run? Yeah, totally understand a raid and run. Yeah. Please take care and have a good stream. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I, I hope you have a nice evening. Uh, thank you for the raid once again. Uh, thank you for trusting your community with me. And uh, see you around in the future. Yeah, take care. Uh, ready to carry anything. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? Hey. Whoa. It talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. Babysitter Crystal. <laughs> ah, amazing. <laughs> this kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm. Are you sure it was him? Does it... Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Verchonk. Oh. Hey now, watch it. It's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're going to help him. Hmm. This individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Is it... Serving children is very low in my task priorities. Is it... Master Link, materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Huzzah! Propeller! However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Yes, the whole reason that I unlocked this guy. Uh, Fi is so cute. Yeah, I, I love... Fi's design, uh, and I, I love, like, her mannerism of speech, but I don't love that it's like, here's this thing, and then Fi immediately follows it back up with, here's the same thing, but rephrased. I don't love that part about her. So, yeah. But otherwise, she's great. <laughs> uh, Who are you, Zvush? Your name is Fi? Should I call you Mistress Fi? Oh my goodness. Are you looking for something, Mistress Fi? <laughs> uh, she took the Solid Snake class on active listening. Yeah. I... I understand. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of the weight or destination. Master, we now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skylock. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. 
Master Short Pants. <laughs> oh, what a name for Link. Master Short Pants. <laughs> I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fi's, uh, thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fi to call me, and I will arrive with haste. Zap. So, how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. True. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. True. Hero of short pants? Yeah. But his pants aren't even that short. His pants are so long they're tucked into his boots. They aren't that short. Or, no, or, hang on a second. I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you've found the time to gather all variety of ma uh, magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. Uh, if it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you. <laughs> you there, see, I see you, yes. Come, allow me to foresee your own fortune. It will cost just 10 rupees to light the way along your cloudy path ahead. Do you hunger to know what these big, lovely eyes could behold? Shall I begin? It will cost but 10 rupees. Please. So, what information do you seek? What is it that you want to know? Um, I guess treasure? Is it treasure technically? Hey, <laughs> thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. The real John. <laughs> yes, treasure, eh? You wish for me to gaze into my crystal ball and foresee treasure? I must confess, I know little about treasure. Uh, uh Mortham, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, well, I guess I can give it a shot. Aha! Uh -huh. I see many things. All is revealed. Yes, a towering forest, sandy dunes, a blazing mountain, monsters. These are sources of treasure that I foresee. Which source of treasure do you want to hear about? Uh. Sure, monsters. I see monsters. When you de defeat a monster, you will find one of these. A monster claw? Ornamental skull? Uh, oh, this is just a listing what you can get. That flutter and flap in the air. Ornamental skulls come from human-looking monsters. They are disgusting to behold. Jelly blobs come from soft-looking monsters. Oh, how they ooze. And monster horns come from the monsters who carry them. You can claim them for yourself by using some sort of tool to snatch them away. Interesting. Okay. So, the mon- Okay. So some of the monsters who look like humans, quote unquote. So I need to use the bug net to snatch the horn away. Interesting. Okay. Evil crystals come from monsters that cast spells. Dark magic. It gives me chills. We haven't encountered anything that casts magic yet. And rarely, so very rarely, a golden skull will be found instead of an ornamental skull. And then there's the amber relic and the dusk relic. These can be found in every region, I see. But for some reason, the dusk relic can only be found during some kind of trial. In my eyes, they see that the goddess plume is the rarest of all treasures. If you should find one, you will be the luckiest man alive. Well, I have one. So I'm one of the luckiest people alive, apparently. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Uh, so I guess the where to next? Please. Where to next? 
Come closer then. Let us see what I can see. Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. I see many things. All is revealed. Ah, uh, yes. You are searching for something. Allow me to gaze into your future. I see a propeller falling through a sea of clouds. It is discarded, left to the elements. Ah, I see a mountain of fire. I see a temple on this burning mountain. What you seek is just down the mountain from this temple. A burning mountain? Could such a thing truly exist? That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Okay, so that is good information to have. And unfortunately, we have run out of time for tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and run off to a save point real quick. Uh, just to head over here. Uh, save to my left. There. Right there. Okay. But yeah. Uh, I know it was a short time since uh, Mochi raided, but uh, yeah. Uh, th thank you all for stopping by and sticking around for the little bit of time. Um, I stream four days a week, and uh, I, I'm a variety streamer, so I play a bunch of different things. Um, uh, I, I do Mario Mondays, where I do Kaizo Mario. Uh, on Wednesdays, I do long plays, and right now, obviously, that's Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And then on, um, normally on Fridays, it's like collabs or more Mario. But this week, we're swapping Friday and Saturday. So this Friday, we're doing some Polybridge 3. And then on Saturday, uh, we're doing some Helldivers 2 as a collab with uh, Callista, Dra wow, Callista Dragon Soul, um, K-Siri, and uh, Pank. So very excited for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and for the Twitch viewers, uh, let's find a friend to raid on over to. Uh, let's go ahead and raid to Vixwitch. Uh, I think we're going to be raiding a, a decent amount, uh, to Vixwitch for a little while, just because, uh, she's doing a, uh, streamathon where she's trying to reach 666 hours of uptime. So, uh... It's a big thing, uh, and I want to support her in that. It's it's a very big achievement, you know? So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start that raid. And again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't, you're not already following on Twitch or subscribed on YouTube, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure that you won't miss uh, future streams. So yeah. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.